Oh my god, holy crap. All right, welcome back to Driven by Adventure. This is Frank, and today we are exploring a mountaintop abandoned house. I'll show you, I'll pan over to where it's at. There it is right there. We are literally up on top of a mountain. I apologize for the wind. It is really windy today. So the wind is blowing like crazy. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. We will explore this abandoned home here. I believe this has been explored before. I'm going to kind of show you where we're at. Again, I apologize for the wind. It is really windy today. Gusts are up to 40 miles an hour, if not higher. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of panning around. Check out this up here. Got some cars up here, some Suburbans, some Fords, some Chevys. And then down below here, you got a, another Ford and it looks like a Toyota. So, right there. So yeah, let's check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you back over to the cars here in a second. It's a pretty good uh, truck right here. It's in pretty good shape. It's not that old. I'm guessing maybe 70s, 80s, maybe. I don't know. No, door's locked. <laughs> or is it jammed? It's jammed. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Canada. 89. You can see that. 1989. Comes out of Canada. Ford. I thought it was an American made truck. Hmm. Ain't that something? Engine still in there. Can't open that. Here's another Ford F two fifty. Remember those old seat covers right there? Yeah, they blew out the ignition. Or shot it out or something. No, not too bad. See this one. Ugh. He's got power windows. What we got here? Canada. Again. Ford Motor Company of Canada. Ain't that something? 1988. Another Canadian vehicle. Crazy, right? I thought Ford was an American-made truck. Mm. I don't know about you Ford guys. Tell me about that. Why is it made in Canada? Or is it assembled in Canada? Regardless, still Canadian, eh? Oh, it's got a front end. It's still in there. I'm sorry. As far as that has been taken out. And this looks like a Chevy van here. Chrysler. Hmm. 
Made in Canada. Also made in Canada. Vehicle made in Canada. 92. So do these vehicles come out of Canada? Up here to the US? General Motors, this vehicle, of course I can't, won't be able to see the tag because Chevy Suburban. Another Ford. Look at that, look at that old dash. Look, this is how we used to roll up windows. <laughs> when they say roll up the window, that dashboard. Let's see. There you go, made in the US. Eighty three, nineteen eighty three. Look at this thing. I don't know if this. I don't think this is a military vehicle. That front hub. Uh, Teddy Bear Joya. You touch that, that, sh that stuff goes right to your finger and sticks to you like instantly. It's like a Peterbilt almost. Can't worth, sorry, can't worth. Right there. Ugh. Yeah, can't open it. Got an outboard motor here for a boat. A, uh, maybe a compressor or generator. I guess like a, a wash plant or a homemade wash plant. It says waste fuel in these cans. Okay, so I'm going to kind of tell you guys about the stuff that's left up here and why it's left up here. Uh, I get a lot of comments from a lot of the other places I've been. And people are wondering why don't the um, people take this or go after the people that left this and charge them for a cleanup. They're not going to. They, they just remove the people that basically come onto government land and they kick them off and then they leave all of their stuff here. And uh, over time, basically... The weather just kind of starts deteriorating it. Not all of it, but some of it. Oh, look at this thing. I'm guessing a generator. That's, that's kind of what this looks like. Dayton, Ohio. General Motors. That's what it looks like. It looks like a generator. Here's a, looks like a wash plant, maybe. Part of a wash plant. Um, so yeah, sorry, I, ADHD, I kind of forget what I'm talking about. Get sidetracked and go, oh, squirrel. Um, it costs the government 
money to clean all this stuff up and they're not going to do it. They're just going to leave it here hoping over time mother nature takes care of it or people come up here and start taking it and just take what they want. That's kind of like what they're hoping for. So I don't know what that is. It's, it's an attachment to something. That's a tool. Like a toolbox right here to a truck. There's another couple other toolboxes. Yeah, so they're gonna leave it here. It's just gonna stay here and uh, rot in the desert. That's exactly what happens. An old uh, wheelbarrow, it looks like. The handles, it's missing the, I'm sure we'll find parts around here. Do you need any nails? Lots of nails, holy moly, whole game box, whole uh, toolbox. Truck toolbox full of nails. So yeah, it's it'll just stay here and hopefully deteriorate, but the, but it won't. It'll just sit here. People can come up here and take what looks like. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Looks like black powder, uh, minerals, you know, the rocks. So they're all full of. Holy shit, they're all full of something. See this black, that's like black sand. They're all full, they're all full of black sand. All, all these barrels are full of that black sand or, or rocks. I'm guessing a crushed up ore. Yeah. Or is it um, spilled oil and then this is the... Uh, they absorbed it with the, like oils were spilled and then they absorbed it with this, because it's all black, I guess. Yeah, see? Yeah, and I, I know a lot of people, uh, Say it's like a scrapyard, a, a dream scrapyard. Come up here and get all this material, metal. Um, I'm not gonna tell people where I'm at. I kind of, I kind of showed you. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, you can see there's a highway over there. I ain't telling you what highway we're by. But, uh, yeah, we are 45 minutes from Las Vegas, so not that far out. Got some spare stuff, some lights and blinkers. It's like a brake. Oh, no, it's a car. Look, a choke. Look at these things. These things are massive. And they ain't light, they're heavy. So we're gonna work our way down to those abandoned homes. So we'll see you down there.